Hi everyone, this is a standing core workout. So you're gonna work 360 degrees of your core, standing up on your feet. Very important position to learn how to do that in because it helps us with our balance, with our alignment, our posture, our stability, our proprioception, where we are in space, and you don't have to lay down on the ground. It also gets a little bit of cardio going if you take your pace up. But I'm wearing shoes, you do not have to. Sometimes I do this without shoes, I just felt like wearing them today. And I also have with me a light dumbbell. You can have a light dumbbell with you. This is a four or five pound dumbbell. You can have a three or five. You don't need any dumbbell at all. Or you can use a heavy book. Totally up to you. You might try it and like it. You might, it might not be your jam. So we're gonna start just with a march, just to get really engaged in our center. Reach your arms forward. And we're just gonna march the legs up and down. And I want you already to start to tune into that sensation of your belly doing the work to lift your legs. Yes, our hip flexors are involved. Yes, our legs are involved. Guess what? That's part of your core too. Parts of your legs, your hip flexors, up and up, really starting to engage and lift in that belly, shoulders down. And four more here. Now we're gonna rotate it out. Rotate from the hips, lift the knees. So you get a little bit more into the oblique and up and lift, tummy in. Keep it tall. I know you're gonna feel your legs too and your arms, but it's all part of the same thing. Everything you do starts at your core, from the inside out, from your center out. It's what I call FBI, full body integration. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna work the obliques more. Take your arm forward. We'll start to the right. We're gonna twist and lift the leg, twist, and twist and twist as you lift the knee twist your whole spine is rotating and you're really working that extension and rotation at the same time lift the belly feel that oblique feel the front of the lower belly and four more on this side working the balance and now we change sides and twist You'll notice a difference in your balance, especially on your two sides, because you're human. We all have asymmetries due to our lifestyles. That's why we do this kind of work. We want to get realigned, balanced, centered, so we can prevent injury and function at our optimal level forever. And twist. Two more. Is that too bold? And one more. Okay, so we're gonna do a side lunge with a leg lift. More oblique stuff here going on. So we'll start to the right. We lunge and lift. So reach and out. Reach for it. And this is not too fast, because you really wanna feel that engagement. You can keep your arms out the whole time or hands on your hips. So any of those three options, you can either reach down and then out or you can stay out with the arms feeling that side waist or hands on hips side waist yes your tush is working why not and that's never a bad thing last one and up okay other side so come to the side of your mat so lunge into it and lift it again you'll notice the difference and your two sides, generally more with mobility on this one. How much hip mobility do you have in parallel? Bend, you could do hands on hips. Or out to the sides. Or you could do the reach down and lift. Always find that balance at the top. So there's that moment of hang time, right? You're choosing to go back down. Squeeze that side waist. And up, two more. And down. Okay, we're staying with those obliques. We're staying with the side. Side body, side body. Now, if you are having trouble with balance already, you may want to have something to lean on. Otherwise, you're going to bend into that left leg a little bit and lean and reach or hand on the hip. You'll decide. 
and this bottom leg is going to crunch. So you're leaning over with your knee going right over your toes. I like my hand on my hip. That's what works for me. If you prefer your arm out, you can do that and squeeze. So elbow and leg coming together. And up, four more. And four, two, last one. Okay, I know I said four and two. I'm aware of that. Okay, other side, leaning over, arm up, hand on hip or out, lift. Strong oblique crunch coming in. Now connect to your breath, connect to your center. Notice the difference of your two sides. Arm out is fine. If you like that better or if you need to put your hand on something. I like it on my hip. That's what works for my body. Two more. Last one. Okay, so now we're going to do an alternating oblique crunch. Okay, hands behind the head. And we take elbow to thigh with a turned out, turned out hip. Externally rotated twist. So it's not a twist. I just said twist because it got me going into the movement. It's a crunch, a side crunch, an elbow to knee, elbow to knee, lift, tummy in, in, and in, eight more, eight, and seven, six, and five, and four, three, two, one. Okay, if you would like to use your weight or heavy book, now would be the time to pick it up. Or again, no weight is fine, lightweight is fine, a water bottle is fine. So we're gonna do what's called a wood chopper. So we take a squat position, and we're gonna bring the weight down to the right and up to the left, tap the foot. We bend and lift. We squat and reach. Squat and reach to the diagonal. Up and down. It's not too fast. We're not really throwing, tossing it. We are using some momentum, but what it is, it's explosive power from the core. Two more. Up. And up. Okay, other side. Here we go. Squat down and up. Now on this exercise, as I was mentioning, things are different on the two sides. On this exercise, people notice Especially what's different is their coordination feels different. So just check it out. See how it feels for you. And up, down, and reach. Use the power of your core. And four more. Three. And two. Last one. And up. Okay, you can decide if you want to keep the weight or not. So, this one is an excellent exercise for core stability. So we want to be able to stay stable within our strength and mobility and motion so we're not going to fall. Um, we have control over our bodies as opposed to being at their mercies. Try it with your weight or not. So, you're going to clasp whatever you've got in both hands. Reach it out. Arms aren't locked out. There's a soft bend in your elbows. Take about a hips distance stance with soft knees and twist and center and twist and center. Do not twist your hips. So you're not doing this, okay? You're twisting your upper spine, your thoracic cervical spine through the top of your head and really squeeze it in. I want you to imagine Every time you twist, exhale and wring it out. Like someone's squeezing a corset around your middle. Squeeze, center, and squeeze, and center, and squeeze, and squeeze, almost there, and squeeze. I know your arms are probably feeling something. And squeeze, and squeeze, four more, and four. Tummy in three, and two, and one, okay, we've got two more exercises to go. We're gonna hold whatever you've got. If you don't have anything, just clasp your fists together like this and we're gonna draw a figure eight while we march 
a one leg up at a time alternating. So just go with me here. Figure eight and down. Figure eight and down. So lifting the legs slowly while you're moving the arms takes a lot of coordination and balance and focus. But this is really important for our mind-body connection, our core stability and strength. And we're getting a lot of mobility here. Very important. And six. And four more. And three. And two. Woohoo! See? Falling. When you fall, I always say fall out, fall back in. We all do it. So, last exercise, arms overhead, or you're holding your weight or whatever you've got. Holding it up, and we're gonna take those marches again with the arms up. So now we're extended, lift, not too fast. And up and up. If you're not holding a weight, that's okay. Just bring those arms up enthusiastically. Up and up and up and up. And four, three, two. Now we rotate out, out, and lift. Find that balance every time. That's not why we're not going too fast. Up and up and eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Okay, great job, you guys. Let's take a little stretch. Take it really wide. Lift up and over to the side. Stretch that side body. Reach through those fingertips. Reach, reach, reach. And lift. And up and over to the other side. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And lift and reach your arms up. Flip your palms. Clasp your fingers, flip your palms. Lift. And relax and just take a few shoulder circles. Nice job, you guys. I hope to see you again on the mat. Feel free to click on another video or have a great day. And uh, see you soon. Thanks.